In previous uh, tutorial, we have covered all of the basic asset management and work management processor. Now, uh, the, in the next uh, several video, I'm going to quickly introduce with you the uh, supply chain management processor and uh, logistic. So basically, in Maximo, we also have the uh, supply chain management processor to uh, provide uh, material and services. Uh, in a support to our work management process. So we have inventory module, purchasing module, and a contract module to manage our own staff of a standard supply chain management processor. So uh, let's start with a work order we already created. So uh, earlier we have a major, let's uh, go back here. So we have a major service job where we have intentionally defined that it's gonna use some uh, spare parts that I don't have uh, in stock so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, check the inventory balance and we're gonna raise some purchase requisition to uh, acquire the uh, necessary parts so in this case let's go back to our Maximo and uh, go to the book order that uh, we have created right. So I'm gonna reset everything. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go back to the main menu and open the work order checking application again. And now I'm going to open a work order that I have in mind. So I'm gonna enter the work order number here in this field. So it will open the work order directly for me on this screen. Yeah. So in this case, uh, as we have intentionally added a uh, some spare part that we're going to consume for this work in our job plan so uh, let's say if we click on this button and choose a view item availability we can see that for this work we need to use two of these items but in uh, our storeroom we have nine of those so that's fine but if we click here with this item in our central storeroom we don't have any in stock so in this case we do not have uh, the uh, material or the uh, inventory items that we need to use and if we go back to our work order here we can see that the uh, storeroom material status is partial which means we are missing some of the necessary spare parts so now uh, generally what we can do is we can uh, raise a new service uh, or uh, sorry a new purchase requisition to uh, request for the uh, procurement of these uh, parts so now let's do that by opening our material tab here and get the ID or the item number of this item that we need to procure and now I'm going to create a new purchase requisition. I'm gonna create a new one. Okay. And now in this case, because I'm a mechanic and uh, I want to buy this tire, but uh, I uh, don't want to involve in the uh, vendor selection process so I'm gonna choose no vendor here because I don't know who they're gonna buy it from in the case that if I uh, know that uh, in our storeroom we don't have the item but uh, we have it in another storeroom or warehouse for example then we can instead of requesting for buying from an external vendor we can choose uh, to acquire it from an internal storeroom so in this case we can check on this checkbox and select on a storeroom where we want to acquire the parts from uh, but in this case i'm demonstrating the purchasing capability so i'm gonna use a uh, external purchase and i'm going to the pr line start and i'm gonna add a new row and i'm gonna define the items that i want our purchasing department to uh, procure in this case I'm gonna need four of the tires 
So I'm gonna enter it here and I want it to be delivered to our central storeroom. So I'm gonna enter our information here and Maximo will automatically populate the rest of the information that we need. And that's it. So in this case, what I have done is I have defined that I need four of this item and it will be delivered to this storeroom. After that, then I can issue the item from this storeroom to my work order. But let's say if I don't want it to go through the storeroom, let's say if this is a project work, then I can enter my work order number here. So once I enter the work order number, then the storeroom field will be locked down, which means uh, it will be a direct issue, direct issues, I mean a direct expense uh, to the work order or the project. So uh, that is a two different uh, kind of uh, financial transaction. If we buy it into our storeroom, it will become a uh, capex, I believe. And if it goes to a work order, it becomes an opex. Now, uh, in this case, I want to I want to demonstrate the whole logistic process. So I'm gonna order it and deliver it into our central storeroom. So later on we can, uh, I can demonstrate the receiving and the uh, material issue and transfer processing. So now let's uh, go ahead and uh, save our record. And now uh, this is basically all of the information necessary to uh, for our request. So I can choose to change the status to approve. So in this case, uh, I make it simple by directly changing the status. But for larger organization, usually this uh, will need to go through a workflow to my supervisor, for example, to review, and then maybe go to the uh, procurement department, go to the uh, financial department to review budget, and then approve by some uh, people with authority as well. And after that, it will become approved. And uh, from a PR that has been approved, then usually it will be actioned by a procurement staff uh, and uh, he or she can convert it into a work order or bring all of these items to a work order. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert this uh, PR into a work, uh, into a purchase order by using this action. Yeah, I'm going to give it a number gonna generate a work order from this PR. So after I generated, so after I bring all of the line items to a work order, to a purchase order, sorry, so it will automatically close the uh, uh, PR. But let's say if uh, I have 10 lines and I haven't bring all of those to a purchase order, then uh, it will not change the status or if I have copy this to a purchase order but it is cancelled then Maximo will automatically reverse this starter to bring it back to the approved status so I can uh, quickly demonstrate that by going to this uh, a purchase order application and cancel the record now here we know that this line has been brought over to this purchase order to the first line so if I go here and uh, let's say I'm gonna remove the line from this purchase order then it say here the PR or the purchase requisition has to change status to approved now if I refresh this uh, screen we can see that our purchase requisition has been brought back up to our to a approved status so we can bring this line to a different purchase order because uh, it had not been action okay so now let's uh, do a different way by creating a new purchase order from scratch okay and let's say we're gonna buy it from uh, Gucci. And copy.
copy that line you can use the uh, um, copy or just be lines here by entering the number and we select the line items that we need to bring over and after we bring the line over then CPR status in our chain to close because we have action on all of the items listed in that PR lines okay